Hey everybody, happy Friday. Thanks for joining for another video blog. It's time for coffee. Actually today is green tea. I'm a little tired today and I'm not used to be tired because I sleep well, I eat well, but <clears throat> I don't know if you're in the Boulder or Denver area, but we having some issues with air quality here and I'm starting to believe that this air quality is affecting me because I woke up a little tired today. So instead of drinking more caffeine, I'm drinking a lot of green tea today. So I want to talk to you still about success. You know, I'm going to address success, fear of success, everything related to success for the month of March. So if you missed my last video blog or my last blog, I've been getting great feedback of uh, this stuff I've been posting lately because I think it's relating to a lot of people. So if you missed my, uh, my post this week, go check, I'll put the links below and you can check my blog and my last video. But I had a conversation with somebody with another coach this week that really inspired me to share this video with you. That it's about the people who are struggling with success. And you know when I talk success, I talk success in a very holistic way. I talk success as this wheel that includes fitness and nutrition work, your career, your calling, your finances, your relationships, family, your, you know, your, your spouse, partner, then your social, your friends, your community, then your spiritual life, your spiritual path. What are you doing every single day to cultivate your, your spiritual fitness? So I look at all those things because they define successful living. So this week I was, uh, trying to help a coach, another coach in New York, who is really struggling um, with his success journey right now. And as I was talking to him, I realized how overwhelming it can be for somebody to just think of success that way, you know? If you look at all those six elements and you wanted to focus on all the six, you, you just can't. In, in different er areas or times, in different times in our lives, we have to focus on one thing. Like right now, my particular focus, it's, it's career and money. Because my relationships are good. My health is good. My nutrition, my fitness, my social, my spiritual life is good. So I'm really focused on, on, on career and finances right now. Maybe you need to, to, to focus on, on a relationship area right now. But we can't just put our energy in all those six elements because it gets overwhelming. So because this conversation got inspired by helping this coach as I was talking to him, I'm sure this might relate to you, to somebody in your life who might be struggling. So where do you start when there's a lot of struggle or struggles? Where do we start our path to success? So as I was talking to this coach and in, in, in hearing his words of like fear, insecurities, self-doubts. Um, he was really down on himself and I wanted to give him something to get him started. And I think, again, this can relate to a, to a lot of you or people that you know who is struggling a lot in life. But the first place you need to start, or I, I share with this quote that he needs to start, it's fitness and nutrition, exercise and nutrition. We need to take care of the body first. If the body, if the mind, the brain are not in balance, are not healthy, there's no point of focusing on all these other things, relationships, social, spirituality. Yes, you want to be doing a little bit of all those things, but if you're going to emphasize one thing in order to progress towards success, so you want to give this advice to somebody in your life that might be hurting a lot, the first place is physical health. That's everything. That is the foundation of everything. You need to think about health before wealth. Wealth is great. A lot of us are working towards that. But without health, wealth means nothing. If you don't have the health, the energy to enjoy the money, the choices that money can offer, then money means nothing. I know a lot of people would trade a lot of money for energy and health right now. We see people in misery, they have a lot of money. So again, this video is not about let's, you know, rebel against money. I like money. I like, you know, the choices that money gives me. But the first place we all need to start if there's a struggle is our physical health. Because without energy, 
without physical energy, it's really hard to generate mental, emotional, and spiritual energy. And those energy sources are all interconnected. But the body is our temple. The body is the foundation of everything because when you have energy, you can figure out anything. When you have energy, you can fail and start all over again. When you have energy, you can make mistakes and have the wisdom, to have the resources to learn from those mistakes and transform those mistakes into success. So the place to start, if you're struggling or somebody else in your life is struggling, it's exercise and nutrition. Special nutrition. you got to eliminate the garbage that you might be putting in your body. If you're putting junk food and processed food, foods that are not even real food, they're genetically modified or they fill with chemicals because you just buy things in the grocery store, you're not cooking anything or you're going to the fast food restaurant, you got to eliminate that garbage. There's no sugar coating here because if you're putting garbage in your body, most likely your thoughts would be garbage. You got to eliminate that shit. That's, that's how I feel. So when people come see me and they want to make more money, they want to improve their relationships, they want to improve their communication with their spouse, all that, I will always ask the most fundamental questions. How is your energy? How is your health? Regardless of what people are looking for when they come talk to me. How is your health? How is your energy? Because that's the foundation of everything. We've got to clean up the diet, put foods in our bodies that give us life force. Not drink something, some energy drink filled with sugar. Drink green tea or even drink a cup of organic fresh coffee. Drink things that make your body feel good because food or any drink is information to the body. It's not just a calorie. It's information. So if you eat processed junk food, that's tons of calories with zero information. That's garbage. So again, you're going to think the same way you feed your body. If you feed your body with healthy foods, clean, organic, you're going to have a more clear mind. You're going to start thinking more affirmative thoughts or have more positive be beliefs, start believing in yourself. So if anybody's struggling, if you're struggling in any area of your life right now, or you struggling in many areas, first place to start, exercise and nutrition. And everything would unfold from there because you're going to feel good. You're gonna have more energy. When you have more energy, you have more hope. You have more faith and you have more belief in yourself. Things all of a sudden go from impossible to possible. You start looking at things as like, yeah, this might be difficult, but it's possible. It's really hard to think with a growth mindset and see potential possibilities when you tire and fatigue every day. So the first place to go, clean up the diet. So that's the advice I gave to this friend to start moving his body every day, clean up his diet because he gains some weight from the stress. And from there, I know things are going to unfold for him and he's going to do great. And that's what I wish for anybody who is struggling. So please help me to grow this audience to help more people. Share my video with your friends, with your family. Share this video on your Facebook. Email to a friend who might be struggling. But I, I need your help so I can help more people. Because the simple advice I know has the power to help a lot of people to thrive more in life. To build more success cultivate more happiness and be healthier. Thank you so much. Have a great weekend.